Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can design the front page of your e-commerce website. So here is what I have designed and I'm going to say sorry for not uploading video regularly because I'm a little bit busy this time and uh, this days that's why and I will try to manage my time and upload video regularly. So here is the front page that I have designed. I will go through the design what I have done. But this is basically just uh, HTML and CSS, nothing fancy. So here if we have a hero which have a little description and we have SVG, I will show you where you can download these SVG files and how you can extract them. So here is the product page. For now, these are hard coded, but we will of course query them dynamically. And here is also learn more about us page so that it should display that this is an e-commerce website. We will extend the functionality. For now, if I go to the code, what I have done is in the component, I have created a component called hero. Hero is basically the header here. This is our hero. And this is going to contain, if I come here, just a little, like they have a title, a little of description, two buttons, which says explore and product. We will talk about them later, like one of them should display all the products. When we click for now, it is just aesthetically and as well as a graphic here that you can see. It use of course, they will stop designing. So, and so closing the, hel the hero, what else I have done? I have created a folder called section. Sometimes your website have multiple sec sections like in the future you might have you might create another page and that page might Extend the same sections that you have in the home page for example This portion of the page let's say you have an about page an about page is going to extend the same thing The good thing is like you can extend this one to another section For example product you can use the product in some other pages you can extend it uh, you can create another separate component for this one and then put all your product there that's why i have created a folder called sections inside the section i have one component called products and the product is going to contain all our product and for now data is hard coded but later we will make it dynamic that come from firebase so for now this is all we have so how you can download these graphics so this is very important like if you are a designer or you can uh, you can design or if you are a graphic designer of course you can design them but sometimes it will take a lot of time there are there is a resource called freepik which give you a full license like you can give you can use these graphics for your production application for your clients everything like you can do that one you can go through the, their licensing also but most of these graphics are free how you can find them this is the trending for 2000 it was trending for 2018 when people are using these uh, SVG graphics to make their website look beautiful. So if you go to the freepick.com, what you can do is you can search for landing page or landing template, any of them. If you search, you can find a lot of them. You can download them for free. They will give you an illustrator file that you can use. So if I scroll down, yeah, there are some very beautiful one. The one I have used, this is very simple all i extract was just the graphic and nothing else but there are some more beautiful which most of them are free if you have pricing table they have a very nice design knowledge is power this one looks so beautiful if i go into that and there are so many you can come here and explore and download any of these you want these are all for free you can read of course you can read their license if you go premium you can uh, download their premium product also for example this one is premium Dude, this is not as nice as this one which is the free one and this one is also a nice one which is premium but it's still they worth paying there as much i don't know if it is which currency is that so if i come to this one it is it looks really nice you can download them and you can open it in adobe Illustrator and use them if you have any problem using adobe Illustrator, feel free to ask below the video i can sh uh, maybe create a video and show you how you can extract svg files and the size is also the big meter like how you can export them for now if i come to the public we have two folders created here this one is store all the product images for now and the svg is going to the be the svg file this graphic is for the header so just 28 kb which is very small but this is this much graphic so uh, this is just the svg file as well as the all the way down here which is the product that is SVG this one here you can download any of them and you can use them for your application for me it is just fine for now and it looks beautiful 
and in the future in the future video I might create a course on how you can design a full static website for now I think this is what uh, we have but in the next video I am going to show you how you can extend the functionality for now it is just fine like I just show you how you can create this one so I hope it has been informative for you thank you for watching see you in the next video and sure I will upload two videos tonight and next one is coming